And Amen. shout out to Zion. He's trying to come back. But it's hard when you stay in that city, man, because you don't have much. You got to get to pay on the left. Come on the right. Boy, I'm telling you, boy, I can hate rich. I'm only good for one year as an athlete. The rest of that, oh, it's over. You made your money. Now you like. I made my money now, boy. I come in the spring training with a gut. <laughs> <laughs> well, how many big eggs you done ate over there? Man, I ain't like five of them. Boot and ball. I will come into practice with a daiquiri. And a daiquiri. I will come with a straw. What the <laughs> hell are you doing, man? Ain't my fault. <laughs> I need to be <laughs> <relocate laughs> no Danny Pop Boy too many times. You know, people are coming up with some red beans and rice. Red beans and rice. And red and beans and rice. Oh, boy, sandwich on my shoulder. Mm. That what you eat? <laughs> yeah, that's what I eat. <laughs> Stuffed shrimp, po' boys, boudin balls. Oh, God, you gonna have a whole crab ball. I had a whole uh, course in there like crabs. <laughs>
Y'all go ahead, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Y'all already know, like I said, we are so we are higher energy. Y'all want to continue to look at our shows. Go back and look at past shows. Come back and look at this show. And go look at even more present shows. And go look at the show after the other show after the after show of the other shows. We're gonna look at a whole lot of shows. We do that. Right? That was a lot. That was a lot. Yeah. Go look at all of them. Yes. Let's get into the show, y'all. So <laughs> like, share, comments, and subscribe. What the shade will punch? Well, I don't know if she's gonna attack you and then. What what you gonna do? To, there you go, there you go. Shay gonna handle business. Yes, already in the car. She'll come to your location. Yeah, she, she'll get the fast. Like she gonna man, look. I'm going hundred miles an hour. I'm gonna put it in sport. <laughs> he says sport. Oh Got it. Let's go ahead and get into the show. Y'all already know we're silly. So, uh, I want to talk about this real quick, man, because it's kind of dope, man. I never thought about this. Finland, you know, it's not Finland is not here. It's, you know, Finland is somewhere else. But they're talking about giving away free trips to help with people's happiness, to keep their, you know, serotonin levels high. I wish I was in Finland so I'd get some free trips, man. Y'all, did y'all hear about this? I don't trust it. You don't trust it? Uh-uh. Uh -huh. Oh man, you don't trust it for real. I don't trust it. Oh man, okay. So let me see. It said, "Okay, oh, I can't pronounce that word. I don't much want to butcher it. I don't want nobody cover." Yeah, come on. So Finland is giving away free trips to teach people how to be happy, and that's what we we need. But Mike said he does. He, Mike Mike said no. Mike I said, don't trust it. I right. seen that too. I'm like, mm -mm. something. Like, this an experiment. Me. This is a test experiment. So to see you have to be like me. living in Finland, and it's giving this to its citizens. Well, let's see. Let's read into it real quick. It says. <laughs> People from not from Finland, they're bringing them to Finland, mm. and they have a thing where they teach them happiness. Yeah, mm -hmm. let's read. The I article. know there's a there's a few countries that like have older, like most the majority of the people that's in those countries are older, and they don't have like a really thriving um, young people population, and so they'll pay younger people to come live there yeah. so that they can continue, you know, having people. I, I mean, that's not a bad idea. I don't. So, so is that like like when when <laughs> you the, the person in the family and you're like, hey, when you gonna have you some kids? So you gonna come to the country now? Cause they gonna want you to carry on, bring younger generations. <laughs> they gonna want you to populate. That yeah, they, they, they give you land and they give you money to start off. They give you land and money to start off. I don't trust it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want it. I don't want it. The article says Finland has been named the world's happiest country for the sixth year in a row. And now they're giving away free trips to take part in a master class of happiness. According to the World Happiness Report, World Happiness Report of 2023. My God, that just sounds funny. <laughs> Finland topped the rankings with a score that was significantly ahead of all other countries. The report published by the United Nations Sustainable developed the United Nations. OK, I'm sorry. That's what when Mike said he don't trust it. That's why I like. You might be you know what, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> I, there's nothing in this world is free. Okay, that's why it's, I don't trust it. <laughs> it reminds me of like this, this this girl I went on a date I with, agree. and yeah. she told me it was a terrible date. But then she texts me afterwards. I want to be happy. Do you want to be happy? Let's be happy together. And that's why I feel like they're telling us you want to be happy. Come to Finland. Don't you want to be happy? Let's be happy. And it's for the okie doke. <laughs> it is for the okie doke. And then on top of that, it does says in order to help others find the inner fin, the Nordic Nordic, I think that's how you pronounce the country, is offering free trips to only ten, these are spirit fingers, ten people who will take part in a four-day masterclass of happiness. Yeah, Mike's I think Mike is on to something, and Chris, you're on to something as well, too. Yeah, I don't smile. Hey, come on. Hey, come on. Yeah, we're not buying it. I've seen too many horror movies. I have seen Hostel plenty of times. Yes, we have. I don't trust it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wake up yeah, in a, 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 a movie like <laughs> Saw 11 featuring you. A couple of toes is missing. Yeah, I, I need all. I need all ten of mine. <laughs> yeah, we're not. We're not buying it. We're not gonna get stuck in Finland and being somebody's uh project slave. Uh, no. <laughs> A human centipede. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, human 
<laughs> yep, no human centipede, no none of that. No, no, no. <laughs> Moving on to other news, WrestleMania for all you wrestling fans is on its way this weekend. It's a two part day. Yeah, That's what they do yeah. now because they got too many superstars there. Um, I tune into wrestling every now and then, and what's crazy about it is that a lot of people do get wrestling hate, but in a lot of people have been you know really tuning in and it's becoming very popular. It's people more like. People more into behind the scenes now of what goes on in wrestling than what goes on in the ring sometimes because it's a mm-hmm. social media world. But I, I, I dig it. I, I enjoy it though. So and shout out to the women that goes along for, with their man to go to, you know, the WrestleMania events. Mm-hmm. And because my wife, she did that. Now, if you're going to go, I'm talking to the ladies, don't wear heels in the dress. It's yeah. not that type of counterparty. My wife did that, and she was the only one in NRG Stadium with heels and a dress to a wrestling match. <laughs> and we walked. <laughs> yeah, the whole way. Yeah. And I was like, hey, then I, I, t- I mean, we're going to go to a wrestling match, okay? And it's it's a whole lot different watching it on TV than it is going, but we had fun nonetheless. And it was WrestleMania. That was the last time mm-hmm. they were in Houston, I believe. So. Oh, the 25th anniversary? I was there too with my brother-in-law. At the time. Yeah, yeah. Stone Cold came out there with the... Uh, Four, the Four-wheeler and everything. Four-wheeler, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, James, we was there. Yeah. yeah. Hey, hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. Man, yeah, it was cool. I, I was right by the by the Titan Tron when Undertaker interest came out. All that flame came up. Let me tell y'all something right now. Y'all see that bro, flame? Bro, I was over there too. Yeah, man, you felt the heat, bro. It was it was cooking. Yeah, yeah. Was like, we probably should have didn't even know it. We no, probably did. We probably did. Those tickets were sixty nine ninety nine. I remember them them prices. I said, oh yeah, I'm gonna jump on this. Yeah, man, but it's 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 a real cool event, man. Everybody get into it, WrestleMania. So, well, I mean, uh, you can always wear tennis shoes with your dress. Exactly, but just don't wear heels. I don't advise it. Yeah. I really don't. I don't advise and... it. So, it. Okay, so we got to get the scoop then. Can we wear makeup to this event? Yeah, you can. Yes, but the, leave the just heels no heels at home. Yeah. It's not that type of kind of party. We're just going to rely. All right, anyway. ladies. So y'all, hear, y'all hear it from Mike. No heels. Leave your heels at home when you go to the wrestling match. Put on your cute dress and some teeny shoes. Seriously, it was sixty thousand people there. <laughs> she was the only one. <laughs> that door cracking open behind That's you. About, I was about to say that door cracking. Door kind of cracking open. You might come in. Ah, what you say? <laughs> <laughs> that's all. That's all we needed. <laughs> <laughs> We're not trying to get Mike in trouble. Yeah, we don't want to get Mike in trouble, man. Oh man! In other sports news, the Astros' regular season games have now started. Spring training is done for, and now they're moving on to the regular season. Make sure you get your Astros tickets and cheer on your champs from this the champs, year. Yeah. The champs, champs. And by the way, they lost their first. Game. I love the Astros. They yeah. lost their first game. Let me tell you, don't, don't be being negative, Mike, for real. Don't. No, 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 no. I, I love the Astros. I have my, I'm a fan of the Astros. I'm just saying. Them, them, I, the, the, I love the Astros. They lost their first game, right? And it was all on ESPN on my alert. This is the first time ever happened in so many odd years. I'm like, relax. That's like 148. Well, I'm sorry, 147 more games to go in baseball. Spring training. Well, we, we I know we lost a few people. Um, no, we lost a few people. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm kind of hurt about that. Very, but hurt about that. I wish mm-hmm. you know we could have kept some of the people that we lost. Yeah. But I'm trying to be optimistic about this and just you know stay positive. Might be positive. We're gonna I have a good season. Be positive, everybody. Hopefully, now ain't the time to panic. In October. I'm <laughs> when we get to October, that's when we can... when, when you get to October, your nerves is bad. So Astros. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, Astros. Let's okay. go, Astros. Let's go, please. <laughs> and to please. finish off this come on now, segment. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> and to finish off this segment, and the NBA playoffs are right around the corner. Shout out to Houston Rockets for having another um 
tanking season. We all understand. Well, season, but they, they young. Right? Yeah, we, we, yeah, we, we try to get that. You yeah, said yeah. it right, tanking. They trying Thank to you. get that monster Thank in France. They trying yeah. to, get, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So shout out to the Rockets. Keep doing what you got to do in order to, you know, build through the draft. <laughs> yeah. Do what you got to do. But as, as far as everybody else, I'm ready to get these playoffs on the way. I'm ready to talk some trash because I can do that because my team not in it. So I'm going to just sit back and watch everybody and, and start and just start conflict because I'm petty like that. The Lakers, they Joe's team they, trash. They, just, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. They, he said the Joe's team trash too. Lakers fight. Do, like? they, yeah. they they going to be some messy stuff going on uh, according to job. So, yeah, don't pay him no attention. Pay me attention. Yeah. Pay me attention so I can come because I, I want to laugh. I want to go. I want to laugh for my soul from a healthy place. Yeah. He said, wanna, "Pay me attention." Pay me attention. Pay me attention, please. Yeah. So NBA playoffs. Saying, Chris, are, the Lakers is what trash. Yes, we know. They in, they in eighth place. They tied in eighth place. What they eighth, ninth, and tenth with uh, New Orleans and Oklahoma City. So they gonna they fighting for their last spot. Hmm. And Amen. shout out to Zion. He trying to come back. But it's hard when you stay in that city, man, because you don't have much. You got to get to pay on the left. Come on, on the right. Then, boy, I'm telling you, boy, I can hate grits. I'm only good for one year as an athlete. The rest of that, oh, it's over. You made your money. Now you like. I made my money now, boy. I come in and spring training with a gut. <laughs> <laughs> well, how many big games you done ate over there? Man, I ain't like five years ago. Pull them booty balls. I woke up into practice with a daiquiri. And a daiquiri. I woke up with a straw. What the hell are you doing, man? Ain't my fault. Ooh, that ain't the no Danny Pop Boy too many times. You know, be walking up and there with some red beans and rice. Red beans and rice. And red beans and rice. Red beans and rice. Oh, boy, sandwich on my shoulder. Mm. That's what you eat? <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> Stuff shrimp, po' boys, boot oh, and balls. Oh, you have a whole crab ball. I had a whole a course in there like crabs. <laughs> yeah. crabs. Blue crabs, stuffed crabs. <laughs> All types of crab, moss crab, King spider King leg. Oh, no, not all types of crabs, now, James. Not all. You don't want all types. Yeah, not all types. No, 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 no. They got no, the no. crabs down there too. I guess yeah, they yeah, got them yeah. down there too. That's what they say. And what crawfish? That's what they alligator. Say. Alligator. Super Sunday, second round. <laughs> How you say it? And the wheelies. Oh, and the wheelies sausage. How you say the sausage? Essence. And the wheelies. Essence. And the Essence. Essence. <laughs> He's not, how are you supposed to stay focused as a young 20 something athlete that just coming to a whole bunch of new money? He remember, I, like they young, so that money is new. Burger like that. Street, <laughs> Dumbo Popeyes tastes different down there. Boy, Popeyes is open till three o'clock in the morning down there. Liquor store is open. <laughs> well, we just going off right now. That really food. means from scratch. Yes, <laughs> yeah. and, and y'all know when people come down here, here, they be like, You can't buy a uh, liquor on Sunday. We be like, no, not in Texas. You cannot buy liquor on Sunday. They got hard liquor in the middle of Walmart store. <laughs> <laughs> like right there by the candy. They got Palmer Sun <laughs> right there. So you can buy your Snicker and Palmer Sun. <laughs> How you expect to be an athlete and win championships down? How? <laughs> For real, uh, I'll be at Bo uh, Billy's Booty and Balls every day. Y'all be at Billy's? There you go. Ooh. Let me tell y'all about Billy's. There you go. Tell us about Billy's to Shay. Mm. I'm gonna close out this segment. There you go. I'm Billy's. Home. Billy's. I just know last time I went to New Orleans, I went I went for Mardi Gras, and this man sent us on a hunt. Mardi he said the best bar, the best best po boy was Johnny Po Boys, but we never found Johnny Po Boy. He said, Y'all gotta get y'all a Johnny Po Boy the whole time. <laughs> we looking for Johnny Po Boy. <laughs> Could not find Johnny Po Boy anywhere. <laughs> oh. You better Google it, baby. <laughs> you better uh, water Google it. it. So Go to Billy's, y'all. If y'all haven't been to Billy's and Tony's, like the restaurant Tony's that's in Baton Rouge, on Plank Road, I'm going to tell y'all something. Okay, oh. I, I can't get y'all all of it. Uptown got this place called Cajun. And you can mm. smell the spices from the outside. Mm. How, Jesus? How? Just like, how are you going to be able to get anything done? I know. I tell my husband all the time. I say, "Look, if we lived in Louisiana, I'd be a big girl." Cause I, oh, they have everything there that I love to eat. I'd like, be fighting all kind of disease. I'd be, boy, I'd be. <laughs> <laughs> you got the sugars. 
Got sugar and everything. I've been dialysis with a po' boy eating. <laughs> with little tiny on you. Right, we don't need to put the po' boy down. <laughs> I'm already here now. <laughs> I needed to live. <laughs> <laughs> Just give me one more taste, please. Just one more taste. <laughs> All right, hold on. Wrap it up. Put it in my mind. jello. <laughs> oh man, but yeah. So to wrap this this segment up, <laughs> it's hard out there. <laughs> Let's go to the next. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all stay locked in. We're gonna get into the critics' corner, talk about some movies and TV shows, so y'all don't go nowhere. Uh, Bring us back some snacks and we hungry. <laughs> all right, good people. We're here at the Critics Corner. Before we talk about the Critics Corner, all these topics, Josh is about Pete Room. You yes, there? So we was my boy Chris was on there with another amazing, talented panel. That that it was a great conversation about Snowfall. You know, it was in the last season. We talked about episode six. Shh, no spoilers. No spoilers. No spoilers. Some exclusive information on that show. So, yeah. Some stuff <laughs> what to expect. Because we had some crew members from the show. I'm just saying. We got the wait, inside wait, details. Wait, wait a minute. I got You got an ugly face on that. Say it again. We got we some inside scoop. Some what? First heard on Joffy's VIP room. I'm just saying. Man. Heard nowhere else. Nowhere Man. else. Oh, my, I'm sorry, I got excited. Sorry. Ah. Question is, is Snowfall really over? Mm. Ooh. Ooh. See, there y'all go, man. Hey, there y'all go. Calm, calm down, okay? You got I, clock dicking. <laughs> you know, we're just trying to, you know, kind of sell it, Mike. Jeez. Oh, man. Yeah, man. So, yeah, y'all go on over to Joffrey's VIP room, and then you come on back up. Uh, oh, wait, this ain't enough show. So let's get into it. Uh, big shout out to Malcolm Carter and the whole entire crew of the Cinematic Affair. Y'all make sure y'all get y'all tickets. That's gonna be going down in Houston. Uh, they've been doing it for quite doing that for quite some time. Well, I think this is his third year as well. They've been doing the Cinematic Affair. The quality of the camera, the storyline, chef kiss, Cinematic Affair. Y'all go ahead and get y'all tickets for that event. It's gonna be a really big event with very very talented people that's a part of that franchise right there, man. So. And also, there's a stage play that I am in called What Do We Do Now? And it's about a up and coming, well, it's about a black family that's going through poverty and trying to teach their kids um, about life and all that and more. If you want tickets, get at your boy. And I can tell you, I can just, you know, tickets right there. It's going to be a great play. Another great, talented group. Just come on out there and see some stage plays. Y'all need to get out of the house, anyways, man. Get out of the house. What do we do then? What do we do now? I catch that later. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah please come out and support Mr. Job. We will be there supporting yeah. him. It's on, so come uh, out. Thank you, thank you. If you can, cool. It's on April 10th. I would love for y'all to come out there. April 10th, that's Easter. Easter, you know, get on out there, you know, try to you know, bypass the Easter traffic and all that. You know, <laughs> I just, you know how Easter can be, man. Everybody going to be up in church. With the loud suit don't on. bring no eggs. Don't bring no eggs. No, no, please. No, don't, do don't please don't do that. Don't do that. On the whole Monday out here. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, too funny. Speaking of Mondays, but we ain't gonna talk about Mondays. We're gonna talk about Saturdays. I like what you did right there, Mike. You oh, ahead of the game that. without being ahead of the game without knowing you ahead of the game. Saturdays is a new TV show on the Disney Channel, and. It gives me that old good family Disney Channel vibe, man. You know, I haven't, re- you know, there's something for the kids out there. You know, Omar Epps is on it, Golden Brooks as well is on it as well. And uh, by the little girl, I forgot the girl's name, Lord, it's escaping me right now. But it's all about getting through the week and making it to Saturday. It looks like a very great kids' TV show. So, you might want to get your kids to check it out, man. It's called Saturday. Why are we talking about Disney? This is this trailer I came across. Um, I'm not sure if we talked about it previously, but I know the movie's out now. It's called Chain Can Dunk. And it's about this this, uh, 16-year-old Asian-American high school student in the band. Mm -hmm. And pretty much much he bets the basketball star that by homecoming, he'll be able to rise up and dunk. Mm. He's doing it because, of course, you know, it's a girl or whatever. But it looks like a funny movie, a good movie to watch. Mm. Nice. 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 All right, all right. Come on, Disney. 
You know, Disney low key awesome. have some good movies on there. Yeah, they, they actually they do. do. They do. Outside of Marvel. Yes, yes, indeed. Outside of Star Wars, too. <laughs> yeah, man. And uh, speaking of staying in the kids, well, I ain't gonna say staying in the kids' place. Going back to my childhood, did y'all see the trailer for the Power Rangers? Yeah, yeah. It was good, right? The, the, the old school Power I ain't gonna lie, man. I was like, this is the old school, original OG Power Rangers. I was like, okay, we about to. Exactly. It, it, I don't know what this dance movie is, but I'm about to watch it. I'm gonna, I'm watching it on, on Netflix, man. I'm being like a big old kid with a bowl of cereal. Back to Angel Grove, homie. So <laughs> Okay, so wait, what Power Ranger was y'all? Man. Everybody <laughs> wanted to be the Green Ranger. I do not care who you are. <laughs> it was either the girl. everybody wanted to be the Green Ranger. I, man. Everybody <laughs> wanted to be the Green Ranger. All right, Peter Tongue. Man, right? I, I was the pink ranger always. No, I don't care what nobody said. I was the pink ranger. Mm. Right. Mm. That's, yeah. that's it. For me, the black and blue ranger. So I'm and those are the ones that seem to be taking prevalent in the new one, uh Zach and Billy. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah. cool. What about the white ranger? Yeah, white ranger too. Yeah. White ranger. It was dope. It was good. It was dope too. Man, the Green Ranger had a, everybody stressed. AF. Uh -huh. Throughout the whole week. <laughs> that boy said, man, jump into the back of the Megazord and put hands and paws on everybody. Boy, threw outside of the Megazord and did a Kamehameha and put hands on the Power Rangers, man. I'm sorry. I was stressed. Probably what my hair going right now. Tommy going to do. Yeah, all that. 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 Had your boy stress, man. Shout out to Jason David Frame. I mean, dysfunctional couple. Y'all don't understand. I was. Power Ranger in it for real, like jumping off the edge of the couch, you know, in full yeah. martial arts moves. I don't know, seriously. The couch too? I did the same thing. Man, that was the I got into karate because I wanted to be a Power Ranger. <laughs> I wanted to kick everybody's butt. <laughs> Me and my cousin Ormy, he was the <laughs> he was the Green Ranger. <laughs> And I was the pink ranger, and my little sister was the yellow yeah. ranger. Like we had, a, we we had the rangers, and we was. Yep. Did nobody want to mess with us? And yeah. toys, all that, man. Rangers was man. That was it, man. If it, no. For me, it wasn't the turtles or Sonic the Hedgehog. It was the Power Rangers, man. Yeah. Yes. Well, I'm telling you, yes, indeed. So moving on to other news, man. Um, your boy Bob Odenkirk. Is that it again with the TV show called Lucky Hank? I have not watched it, but I heard it's going to be great. And if Bob Odenkirk, a.k.a. Saul Goodman, for you who all do not know who Bob Odenkirk is, I'm going to check it out. He's a great actor, man. And I I got to finish up Better Better Call Saul. I'm slacking on my pimping. Yeah. But, yeah, I got to check it out. Lucky Hank. Come to you. Lucky Hank. Lucky Hank. And Power... We going back to the big rich town. It is back on. Power is back on. Tyreek <laughs> is out there, still without a car, and is the main character. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm to tell me I can get my stars back now. I can go yeah. get stars back now. All right. I'm mad, I'm mad at myself that I found out that I I've been paying for stars this whole time and didn't know it was on my Roku. Oh, I've been saving that eight ninety nine. <laughs> I was like, wait, I was like, wait, oh snap. I got to catch up on BML, yeah. catch up on Razor. Yep. <laughs> now I'm back I'm on. That eight ninety nine. Yes, sir. Yep. Let me find out that you only put stars and pay for stars when this show is That's out. That's it. That's yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, I'm not. But... I haven't watched BMF. Uh, you know, but uh, Razor came. Now you know, but hey, that power is back. Let's go. Yeah. yeah, I'm about. I'm about to binge watch Raising Kane, Power, and um. And BMF. Listen, uh, I, yeah. let's be honest with ourselves. We're not going to binge watch all these TV shows. It's too many TV shows. They all TV coming shows. at once. It's too many this and that and the third, okay? Unless COVID hits again where we quarantine, it's going to be hard for us all to catch up. So we can just... Yeah, you're right. And then they want everybody to go back in the office. You know, you can't even really work at home no more. They want everybody to be back in the office. And so yeah. it's taking us away from home again. And we're barely... We're rarely spending time at home you know we gotten used to being at home and that's like Ooh, come on back about it there well they so, yeah. oversaturating us with tv show <laughs> tv show tv show i'm like god damn god damn, god damn man damn yeah, man 
Well, you're right. And to finish this segment off, we are about to end in the month of March. And it been, it's been blockbuster after blockbuster after blockbuster. Mm-hmm. I've only seen, how many have I? I've only seen Creed. Have y'all been catching up on all the movies that came out? I, I got to see John Wick. That just came out. I haven't caught John Wick. I did see Creed. Yeah. Creed was amazing. Please yeah. go and watch Creed. I loved it. Um, yeah. Of course, Michael B. Michael B. Jordan. She, Need she I say more? She says having a moment. Michael B. Jordan did really well. Um, the movie was awesome. Y'all yeah. will love it. Go watch yeah, it. I gotta, they, they inspired me to get my, my, myself back in the gym because they, I want I want to keep my neck, though. I'm just saying, I want to keep my neck because they they got muscles on top of muscles, and I'm just not built. I don't want to be built that swole. Just to, nothing. Yeah. You know, just saying. They just they cut up, man. Most shredded in the Caesar salad. They, they, I, they definitely cut up. Yeah, yeah, yeah they ripped, man. I, I can't get like that. But yeah, man, um, Creed came out. Um, what's the name? Um, Ant-Man and the Wasp. Oh, well, I, mean, well I, I heard Ant-Man and the Wasp sucked. Jonathan <laughs> made the character. <laughs> Oh, oh! They've been killing Ant Man and the Wasp. They've yeah. been. I thought it was okay. I, it, it was. It, it was like I said. It, it carried. We know, like it, it's setting up the everything for what's to come. Right. So. Right. Everything is a setup this whole year with Marvel. That's a setup. That's a setup. <laughs> but when they, Mike, hey, Mike, hey. Mike mad, but everything's a shit. I can't judge them no more. After that, after, after we got Endgame and, and Infinity War, I said I can't judge any setup they do. I was like. Just, well, I'm ready for them to shut it, uh, shut it up, or set it or whatever, because this has been just set up after set up after set up after set up. <laughs> but they said that Jonathan Majors did an awesome job. He carried the movie, so that's why I didn't watch it. It'll be on Disney Plus soon. They go yes. another streaming out, they but know. they they've been murdering Shazam. They say Shazam mm-hmm. is a bomb, big time. And I heard mm-hmm. that it was actually, I heard it was actually pretty good. From some people, I heard I, mixed reviews, and they're mm-hmm. talking. Then they're talking about the Rock is the one who sabotaged this and didn't want to do that in crossovers. But we don't look, look, y'all. We don't know. We what, don't know. We don't. Do you no, think no. that everyone is getting tired of superhero movies? I can believe that it could be superhero mm-hmm. fatigue because I thought about that too when I, when they announced all this stuff. It can happen. It can happen. Yeah. I think because you don't get the complete story. And you have to wait so long to get the next portion of the story. Mm-hmm. You know? mm-hmm. where, especially in the streaming era where you can just go watch, you get you know what you're gonna get, you know, to the end, move on. But like it's taking so long, like like I said, we were just talking, like they, that was a setup for what's coming with the whole multiverse saga. And so now we gotta wait so many months until the next big movie to yeah. get the next piece of the story. Yeah, so then we gotta yeah. wait. Yeah, it, it's like internals, you heard you heard a uh, uh, Blaze voice. And that was like two years ago. Yeah. And now you know, <laughs> like you gotta wait another two years to actually see Blade. It's like, bro, what is we doing here? Being our rocking chairs. Being our rocking chairs, <laughs> rocking chairs with this movie. We yeah, gonna get, come on, we sure. gonna get social security by the time we. Yeah. yeah being a rocking chairs. <laughs> when you, Lord, when... Let me make it to. Let me make it to at least the next. The next Avengers come out. Yeah. Well, we said that last time. Lord, Avengers yeah, 26. Yeah. Let me make it to Avengers 26. What, what's, that, what's that, Mike? We got to rock back and forth. Get about you. Yeah, man. We got, we got, yeah. we got to rock back. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get up out the chat like that. Let me go in. Get on up right quick. But oh. it's, it's crazy. I said, Lord, let me make it to see Infinity War. Now I'm saying, Lord, let me make it to see Kane Dynasty. Come on, man. And, and, and to say went in on Scream last week. Yeah, last week we were talking about all the screams, and and to say said she got ketchup on the screen, but but then Scream they both have another Scream come out. No, I, 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 I heard Scream Six killed it. I heard, I heard it. Scream, yeah, I heard good review. Well, I mean, isn't it a John, another John Wick just came out? Yeah, yeah. John Wick with the set. Yeah, John Wick Four. He yeah. <laughs> See, I haven't caught up. I'm gonna just we just wait till everything come out because how the I world goes. The new John Wick though, I, I want to see the new John Wick. So yeah, I'm probably I'm, gonna. My husband loves John Wick, so I'm probably yeah. gonna take him to go and see it um, before the premiere today. Let's see, maybe a mad name. A mad name would be dope. Like, yeah, I'm gonna try to catch John Wick today. And we can't. Speaking of John Wick, 
we can't leave without saying R.I.P. to Lance Riddick. Yeah. Yes. 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 R.I.P. to Lance Riddick. Riddick. Yes. Yes. And you know what was so cool? He was playing, I think it was Destiny or Di It was some video game that he was on. Yeah. I think he was playing. I think it was Destiny. I forgot exactly, but I, I, I caught that as well, I too. I forgot the name of it, but he was playing a video game with all, with all the gamers. Uh, mm -hmm. It's something like Fortnite. Yeah. And, uh, he was playing his own character. Yeah. And all the gamers mm -hmm. knew who he was, and they was he was like, oh, man, that's Lance Riddick playing yeah. as Lance Riddick, his character. And uh, he passed away. I think he passed away as he was playing a game, you know. So, yeah. And he was... Um... Yeah, he, he was here last year for Comic Con as well too. We didn't uh, get a chance to go, but um, but uh, it's what sixty years old. He passed away, so yeah. Uh, R.I.P. to Lance Reddy, man. Great, mm -hmm. phenomenal work that he's. Yeah, his body hurt. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you have to remember him. So yeah, yeah. I, I thought it was so cool that he was just playing games. You know, everybody's like. You Old and you play, man, that man was man. Years old, and he was playing with other gamers as himself. That's dope, yeah, man. I, all right, I, I, I told you, I'll play video games. So I'm old in my rocket chair, as long as they don't mm -hmm. put it to where I'm physically in the game and I'm getting hurt. I'm good. We're gonna play. Okay. I just can't do it no more. I'm on it. I'm good. I'm, good. I'm on the sticks, yeah. Yeah. Talk. Yeah. <laughs> I'm holding it. Grand man, put it out of there. Y'all not playing um Mortal Kombat, man. <laughs> I'm playing it all, Tasha. All. I can't wait till I retire. I'm playing this. Talk all. to me uh, when you talking about some Pac-Man or Mario Kart. <laughs> no. Hey, I I'll still play the same. I don't Kart. care. Say Mario Kart. I, man, I want to throw. I wish I I want to throw a turtle shell at somebody else. I'm sorry, we're getting <laughs> off topic. I'm, 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 I'm a bad. banana I'm peel. <laughs> yeah, catch these banana <laughs> peels, homie. That's Slug right. Slug all that. Hey, Gerard, <laughs> grandchildren can't come today. I'm playing video games. Hang <laughs> <Now, laughs> <up> on. <laughs> right? Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, I dude. did my time. <laughs> I can't stand I'll be talking to my... um. I was talking to my sister on the phone, and she had two phones. And then next thing you know, she just started like terrific cussing or whatever. And I'd be like, "What are you doing? Oh, I'm on Fortnite on my other phone. Girl, get off my phone." Girl, don't you? It's a loop to the gamers out there. <laughs> yes, y'all be serious about it, and we understand. It. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have to, well, Mike and Deshae got to step out for a little bit. They had to take care of some things real quick, but they're going to be right back, man. Don't worry about what they're doing. Sometimes we got to take care of stuff outside of what we do on the show. I don't know what that was right there, but that's what we do. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Business. So we're going to have a great guest that's going to stop by. Miss Tina Fear is going to check in with us. Y'all know Miss is very, very good interview. Stay locked in. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Just Acting Up show. We got a very, very special guest here in the building, Miss Tina Fields. Clap it in, y'all. I like that. That was. <laughs> already started. Man, I love it. I love the energy. I love it. How you doing this morning? I'm doing good. Doing good. Happy to be here for sure. Thank y'all for having me. Thank you. Thank you for joining this bright and early like the orange juice, man. So let's thank go. you. So let's get it. Let's get it. So man, I was reading over everything, your titles, what you've done and everything. And I was like, whoo, we did say that it is a woman's appreciation. Wait, woman's appreciation month or what is it? Yeah. yeah. History month. History month. Month. You know, all the things. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Ma'am. Yes. You are. <laughs> <laughs> you are. She. So um first and foremost, let's go ahead and let's start it off. Um so is tell us a little bit about yourself. Now is now I know Tina Fears. Is Fears your 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 original last name? Because that's a dope. That's last my name. that's my legal. If you if you in the Google, it's gonna yeah. it's gonna show it's gonna show up Fears. That is my married name. Yeah, that that's is my married name. So 
it just kind of worked on brand with what I do. Right. Tina Fears, Fearless, all that good stuff. But yeah, that's that's when I became a Fears 15 years ago. That is my name. Yep. I love that. That's a dope last name. Man. I, Thank you. I love it. And you are originally from the ATL. Is that correct? I'm originally from LA. I'm a California girl with sweet tea in my veins. So I've been in Atlanta longer than I was in Los Angeles. So I'm from Atlanta. <laughs> I like the way that I'm with sweet tea in my veins, man. Yeah. I love that, man. Let's go ahead and get into to your career and your business. Like, what is it like having your own business and then also being in the uh, acting industry? Like, how did it all get started? Yeah, I mean, I'm I come from a creative background, a, a family of singer, dancer, artist, all that good stuff. So that's like many artists have always done all the things. Um, and then I, you know, as I was kind of like transitioning through college, decided that, hey, I got to figure out a way to make all of these things that I do really well work for me, you know? And so I kind of went into entrepreneurship before it was on trend to be a big boss. You know, I kind of decided that I'm going to bet on myself and started stage ready with very little and, you know, kind of built my resume like we all do, whether you're in the arts or you know, you may have a food truck or whatever your business is, a podcast. You kind of have to create your own momentum, create your own narrative. And so I started the business. We were blessed to work with a lot of clearly God-ordained people because my resume didn't really match up to the clients that I was able to secure. But once I got the jobs and proved myself, you know, then it kind of all made sense. So we were blessed to get some great clients early on. You know, we work with Usher's New Look Foundation, a lot of NFL players in the early years, a lot of gospel artists. And then we started adding like BET and MTV and VH1 and all those people to our to our client list. And um, the rest is kind of history. Within all of that, I kind of remembered the root of who I am. I'm able to serve in the entertainment industry because I have those gifts myself. And so probably... Really about seven years ago, I came out from behind the scenes and started pursuing my career as a performer. Um, mm. you, know, you know, a lot of us who have gifts, sometimes you kind of wrestle with that. What does that look like? Can I make a, a living in that place? I've seen failure. So you get fearful. Um, but about seven years ago, I started to come out from behind the scenes and did, did professional musical theater in Atlanta and have been able to kind of cut my teeth in that space and move on to do commercials and television and film. Mm, beautiful beautiful love that love that man so let's um let's let me see i was looking at when we looked at everything that you've done mm -hmm. and we we're saying that the one thing that really stood out to us is that you know through god like you just you always giving grace to god giving thanks to him yeah. that really stood out to us yeah, I'm I'm a I'm an unapologetic, faith forward woman, you know. Yeah. Um beyond the looks and the, you know, and all the all of that relevancy, yeah. I am unapologetic about knowing that one, there's a call on my life. Two, um, that everything that happens for me, doors that are open, doors that close, like I have to lean into really wanting what God wants for my life. And that looks different for different people, but I have seen God come through for me in ways that an agent, uh, a plug, a this is that and other, they're they they do not have the they don't have the bandwidth <laughs> to yeah. make those things happen. You know, so I've seen God do such wonderful things that I would be a foolish woman not mm. to give credit and lean into that because this is a very volatile industry that I'm in. You know, these are you can go and do wonderful things and then not work at all. You know, you can be um, on a job and then the show gets canceled. I mean, there are so many different things that I can't, you can't put all your stock in just that. You have to be grounded and be rooted and know that as you go through the ebbs and flows of your career, even in business, that you have to be able to lean into something greater. And for me, it's my heavenly father. So yeah, I'm, I'm you know, she is, she a holy girl summer, you know, we're going to do a holy girl summer. We're going to be saved and fly and all of that kind of stuff. But um, yeah. I have to constantly give give grace and thanks to to my heavenly Father for everything He's done for me. So you got that right. I'm glad that's what the narrative is saying. She's saying, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I love it. I love it too because I was like, because we always say it all the time. Because we, as tall as we were, we always got to give, like you said, give thanks to to the man upstairs. Give thanks to God because yeah. without none of this, it wouldn't be possible without Him. Right. And so I'm gonna ask you, me and uh, you know, me and saved and everything. What's mm -hmm. the two gospel songs that you can listen to? They get you in the spirit. I, I want to know this. 
<laughs> so you want a buck shout? You want a da 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 da? You hey, want what, that kind of or just a worship? Your, hey, Glory. Hey, <laughs> what's your plan? Well, you know, you know, I, yeah, yeah, I like. I, I, I came up like I was a choir director and like a praise and worship leader. So yeah, I was like a choir director in Koji Church for a minute, like right. community choirs, like all that kind of stuff. So we came up listening to like John P. Key, Fred Hammond. The Clarks look like that kind of yeah. stuff, you know. Okay. You know, I'm I'm not that seasoned of a woman, but you know, kind of like that when gospel yeah. kind of changed over, like it went from traditional, like the Hawkins, to like when Kirk and them first started to kind of make yeah. it a little more contemporary. So that's yeah. what I kind of grew up listening to. A Ricky Dillard is gonna always take me up if mm -hmm. I just need a, a certified bump, church yeah. bump, anything. Ricky Dillard for sure. Fred Hammond to me has always had one of the most wonderful pins as a uh, gospel artists but now the new generation I feel like Jonathan McReynolds is kind of giving us what Fred Hammond kind of gave in the 90s so I love Jonathan McReynolds he has a song called Details it's a beautiful worship song mm. um, I think Kirk is going to always kind of give you that smile whatever you need in the midst yeah. of you know Kirk can do that but I used to actually choreograph and um, creative direct for Dietrich Haddon many years ago and he was always one of my favorite artists i think he's one of the best singers ever doesn't really get the credit that's due um and so a dietrich record always kind of like take me up too so yeah y'all got my y'all got my church background as well i love it and that man, is yeah that's beautiful i love it i uh, love it what about y'all what do y'all i mean who do y'all listen to oh man see i'm like the I'm liking the new uh, the new artists of the day. Like we have like a uh, like Cannon Jones. Yeah, I, mean, I, I used to work with Canton. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this man, she owned it, man. <laughs> been in these streets, been in these streets, yeah. been in these streets. So Canton Jones, you like Canton Jones? Do y'all yeah. listen to Christian hip hop? Y'all listen to any Christian hip hop artists like oh, yeah. Lecrae, Juan Day, and all of them? Yeah, I love Monday. Um, I like that. What's the guy? Um, he's like I call him like the go the young gospel hip hop T Pain. Um, okay. Uh worship okay. till I pass out. Worship. Uh, oh, Uncle Reese. Know. Uncle Reese. Oh, yeah. Uncle Reese. Yeah, I like his music yeah. too. Yeah, Uncle Reese. And then it's, there's an artist named Wanda, y'all, who is yeah. giving what like City Girls, Cardi would kind right. of her producers are good friends of mine. And okay. she went viral. Um, she kind of flipped some different like Bible stories with wigs and stuff on. Y'all might have seen it if y'all are y'all into culture like that. But her name is Wanda, and she's always in in my stories. I use her music for everything. So <laughs> if anybody okay. wants to clock, y'all need to clock oh, yeah. into Wanda because she's she's very dope. Yep. Okay. Okay. I like that. I, okay, Wanda. I got to look to see. Yeah, take her out. <laughs> her name does sound familiar too. Uh, now we've um. We've seen your commercials, but you also have okay. usually talents for cartoons, right? Yeah. Okay, so we want you to just kind of share your experience in the voiceover space. Man, thank y'all for that. Voiceover is actually my favorite. Mm. So really? as you know, yes, it's my favorite. It's my favorite. I'm really praying that more doors open up for me in the voiceover space. So you can hear my Southern neutral, like my neutral tone, but I've been really blessed to know how to kind of flip it back and forth. So um, I was able to do the voice for Global Problem Solvers, which was like an animated educational series for Cisco. So it was kind of a, the combination between um, Captain Planet and it was like a <laughs> Black Miss Frizzle, but my name was Miss Kibble, you know, so I was able to do that, which was really cool. But then I also do a lot of commercial voiceovers for like the Home Depot and Walmart, Mm. Um, a lot of pageants and things like that. So that is really my heartbeat, believe it or not. And it's because I'm a singer, right? So as a singer, I know how to kind of flip my voice. And mm. based on my placement, that, that's going to give you a different tone. You know, sometimes they want, come on home, come on down to Cracker Barrel. You know, and sometimes they want, thank you for calling AT&T. You know, they want you to kind of flip it up. So you have to be able to, you know, flip it with your voice as well as the pronunciation. But vo voiceover is definitely, that's my heartbeat. Because I feel like if nothing else, honey, if this mug break down, <laughs> put me in front of a mic. <laughs> put me in front of a mic, you know? Oh. So and, and there's some wonderful voice actors mm -hmm. who, Cree Summer, you know, she set the tone, really, yeah, when it comes yes. to voicing for, as, as a woman of color. Yeah. So, yeah, I love voiceover work. And I had a great time working on that animated series. Been with Nickelodeon several rounds, y'all. So pray for me one day that door will open up. But it's been good to get in those rooms lately. 
That's a, I can hear you, you talking about it. That just like lit you up. You're like, that was something that's that's it right there. I love voiceover work, so, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I didn't notice, yeah. I didn't know that about like for singers, like it does make sense now that you know we can change all our voice to these different characters and everything with it. That makes yeah. sense. I'll be doing a little I I can sing a little, I can I can do a little bit of something, something. I can do a little something. But so you something. know about it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm always saying some little crazy character voice or whatever, but mm -hmm. I, now it makes sense what you explain that to me. So yeah, yeah God can, bless you. Well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, tap into that, brother. You never know. Yes, ma'am. Most definitely, most definitely. So when you are not, you know, being a queen of your empire, your business, and we do want to hear more about that. Mm -hmm. Um, what are you doing during your downtime? Downtime is trying to be the best mommy and wifey that I can be. You know, I don't really know what downtime is per se, oh, but man. it's always, yeah, it's always trying to find that balance, you know, figuring out how to best serve my family and make sure that that my commitment to them remains constant. The, the, the way that our home flows is consistent, even when I'm juggling a bunch of things, like even coming on, they knew I had an early morning, you know, I dinners are cooked, food is prepped, whatever, went in and said good morning to my son, my husband, of course, and they mm. knew I had this going on this morning. So the downtime is cooking. You know, I love to mm. put a pot on. I love wonderful food, you know, um, hosting, spending time with my family, you know, getting in the gym, trying to keep it tight. But, and, yeah. and really community has been helpful for me. You know, coming off the pandemic, y'all, we were in such a space of like isolation and the unknown. So to be one of my girlfriends calls us hashtag we back outside. So if there's a conference or there's a opportunity to connect and physically be with people, I'm trying to lean more into that because sometimes, you know, you, you kind of can isolate yourself. And I, don't, I think we forget how much we need to interact with people um, to be whole. So that's what I'm doing in my downtime. True. Nice, nice. Now, we can't overlook uh, that the fact that you won a HAPO award and you was also on screen recording the event. So I know that was... Uh, you know, a while back, but I, we just want to have yeah. to acknowledge that because that was Thank some great work you. on that series. Thank you so much. Yeah, that was unexpected. You know, yeah. um, Mr. Courtney and Miss Angela are people that I, I think we all admire. You know, tremendously. Yeah. So it it was a master class. You know, working on Genius Aretha and being able to recur as Claire Ward. And then, you know, when the HAP Award for it, and there was a, another acknowledgement that I received from Black women in film in New York, just to come in and make an impact in that role, you know, where the series was really about Aretha, but the way that the team put all that together, mm -hmm. Anthony Hemingway and Susan Lori Parks, our wonderful producers and writers, they leaned into the people that supported Aretha's story, you know, and so they made room for people like, a Claire Ward, you know, they made room for the people in her family and her siblings. So it was a blessing to be able to not only be on the show, but to sing. So those performances of Claire Ward, that's me actually singing. So, okay. you know, it's like, uh, hello, Hollywood, ladies and gentlemen, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. let me give you all the things. So they gave me room, they gave me space and they didn't have to, they could have used someone else's voice. So thank you for acknowledging that. It was a wonderful experience. And Mr. Courtney is just as gracious and kind and uh, in a spirit of a mentor. Like what you yeah. see in his interviews, like it's consistent, y'all. And a lot of people are not like that. And I believe that's why he and his wife are so blessed because they are truly, mm -hmm. you know, when you work with them. Sometimes, you know, you work with people and it's a little, you know, mm -hmm. so for him to give me compliments on my choices and mm -hmm, okay, that's nice. And I'm like, Courtney B. Van said that was nice. The <laughs> choice was good. Right. You know, let's run and shout. You know, like it was yeah. that. So it was yeah. a very challenging space because I look back on it. I'm glad y'all asked about this. I look back at it now, and I think I should have leaned more into really maximizing what that was. And I would never mm. be on a show and a job and not be completely, totally present. But I was just in a place in my life where you have been auditioning so much just to get the job. It was like, okay, I got the job, and I got to do the job, and I got to do it well. But yeah. really to soak all of that up, you know, for the people who are watching it or other artists, man, we get on these sets, y'all, soak that yeah. stuff up, make those yeah. connections, make, you know, of course, don't be obnoxious, but really right. make sure that you're giving your all and you're your true authentic self, not just when you're on the camera, but amongst your castmates and peers and all that good stuff. So 
Um, but yeah, it was it was a beautiful experience, one I cherish and prayerfully I can work with him and, and a lot of those other people again, really. No, it was it really showed like that's one of my favorite series that I seen come out. I was like I was telling James, yeah, I was, I was like, you need to watch this. This is so good. Like I've watched the movie, no disrespect to the people that did the movie, but that okay. series is just so good. I was like, no, this is the story. Thank and, you for that. Thank you so much. Yeah, I think with the series, you I mean, you know, in all fairness, you just they had several episodes to kind of unpack so much yeah. more and be so much more detail oriented. Whereas with the movie, you kind of got about what two hours max to yeah. tell this story. But I'm I'm so glad you enjoyed it. Glad y'all enjoyed that. Yeah, and and I love what you you said, what you touched on right there, saying that um we on these sets and everything because everything moving so fast, so quick. And we tell ourselves that when we're on set or we're writing or creating something that we really need to slow down and really marvel at what we're doing in the moment. Yes. Because like, it's on quick, quick, get these lines, do this, look at this mark, get over here, make sure they have everything is correct. But then mm -hmm. when you get down and you look at that person across like, I'm really talking to Courtney B. Vance right now. <laughs> oh, I, yeah. I'm sharing the screen with this person. So I'm yeah. I'm happy that you say that right there. Yeah, yeah. And, and Cynthia was so complimentary. She was so kind. Yeah. Um, when I came back in episode six as the older Claire Ward um, during the Amazing Grace stuff, that was my first time working with her. And, you know, these, again, these are, these are you know, award nominated, Tony Award winning people who are seeing you doing your thing, you know, because when I'm on set, I'm not like, oh, this is Mr. Courtney that Cynthia is like, no, I'm in Claire Ward zone, right? I've done mm -hmm. the research, I prepared, I want to honor that this was a real person, you know, so in between takes, you know, you're coming over telling me like, that was dope. That was fantastic. You know, that that really means a lot. It's very validating because, again, we come from the land of no's, y'all. We submit into the void as actors. You know, you take yes. and you send into the void. So, again, soak that up, y'all. Mm -hmm. You also have your your own fearless movement, right? But you're also mm -hmm. co-founder co -founder of uh, Black Eight, was it Black ATL. Black ATL. Yep, that's right. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, uh, in one of the many ways you give back to the community, uh, how important is it for you to to give back? Oh man, it's everything. It's everything. We started the conversation talking about how I started Stage Ready, and it was out of a necessity, right? I was transitioning from Clark Atlanta and had these educator dreams. I was cheering. Shout out to Cheerify. You know, I was doing all the things, but that that. Uh, that journey wasn't lining up for me and I had to pivot. And mm. so and when I was in that pivot, there were things that I needed, right? I needed mentorship. I needed resources. I needed funding. I needed um, spiritual and emotional encouragement and uplifting, right? So I want to be to people everything that I needed. And I got those things later on. But if I can just take what, what knowledge I have just in my little experience and put that in front of people, now, why not do that? So with Black ATO Inc., we're a service organization that was really curated specifically to serve Black artists here in Atlanta. We have about almost 400 members in that organization via our Facebook platform, but we are the intersection of service as well as the advocacy piece for actors in Atlanta. So Atlanta is a right to work state. Um, and so there isn't anything specifically for Black creatives it's almost like an NAACP, but for Black artists in Atlanta, if I may say that, because some, yeah. you know, in addition to the skate parties and all of the live stuff like that, we had a major issue throughout the pandemic with the, I call it the Great Awakening. You know, everybody wanted to get super woke, but there were conversations that needed to be had as it pertains to what the Black artist experience looked like in our city. Atlanta is as Black as it gets, but there was still a huge disparity between what the opportunities look like for Black artists wages, um, jobs, just the environment in which you're treated. So Black kind of wasn't initially founded like that, but it really was just myself and my co-founders and other leaders in the community just saying like, hey, we need to be a voice for these people. I'm willing to sacrifice you not giving me a job to speak up mm -hmm. and call you out on how my brothers and my sisters are being treated. So Black has been around for a couple of years. We helped to facilitate the largest artist protest in Atlanta during the pandemic with thousands of people marching on Atlanta to bring awareness to all of this. So yeah, and then the fearless movement is just me being my testimony, my fearless self serving Black women, you know, serving young girls who were just like me who need to be uplifted, you know, in their lifetime. Love it. I love all that, man. Represent, represent, man. A few more, um, just a few more questions we get you about it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, so now you mentioned that, you know, you for this, I think it was a musical film. Mm-hmm. You got to use all your gifts on Georgia Sky, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Now, yeah. what show is out right now that you would love to be a part of that you can use your gifts that you haven't done yet? What show? Ooh, what show is out right now? Mm-hmm. That can use your talents. I'm just trying to see. It's so many, friend. It's so many. I think I think yeah. the show that would really be all of those things has yet to be written. Ah, okay. A couple years ago, we had shows like Glee and um, yeah. uh, what what else was it? There was like another one called like maybe not Star, yeah, Star and shows like Star, that. Which, that was, yeah, you know, Empire that they mm-hmm. had the music piece was kind of wrapped into all of that. Yeah. I would love to, to be on Abbott Elementary. I think me and everybody else would love to be on Abbott. Yes, yeah, I can see that. <laughs> You know, as a dance teacher or music teacher or something like that, um, yeah. I think at elementary would be wonderful. Um, mm-hmm. There are, I, I love period projects, you know, so there's a couple of period projects that are being shot right now that don't mm-hmm. necessarily lead into the singing and dancing, but mm-hmm. I'm a big historian. I love Black history, Black culture, so I would love to you know, be someone in the 40s with a, this time with a cigarette and a, uh, you know, <laughs> a glass of dark liquor, you know, yeah. I did, I gave you 40s, you know, church lady, gospel singer, yeah. but I would love to kind of give you a little club woman or something like that. So I think it's yet to be written, but there's so many wonderful projects that are going on right now that I know it's just a matter of time before my next opportunity where I can bring everything together will yeah. show up for sure. Yeah. I'm sorry, they say speaking into existence. Oh, yeah, every day. We, every yeah. day, y'all. Yeah. Manifest that. You know, yeah. Disney doing you know Disney doing those live action movies. Now you can cook, you can dance, and everything else. Man, you better say it. You better Princess say and it. the Frog, man. <laughs> Princess Tiana. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Come on now. Look, Tiana, give me a little ponytail. That's, I'm that's glad my, you said it. Yeah, that's my favorite print. We're gonna manifest yeah. that. Yeah. Yes, I would love anyway. to. I would love to audition for that, and yeah. and just 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 be just be considered. Sometimes just being in the room is good because right. being in those rooms, even if you don't land that, it just allows you to be opened up for other opportunities. So yeah, I could give you give a little Tiana with the little tendrils and the hair and the ponytail. Amen. You know, a southern accent, y'all. What y'all need, huh? Come you on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, next time they put one of them fan cast together, y'all make sure y'all drop Tina Fears in there. Oh, but um now uh before we let you go, uh I just wanna know I mean you've Grace magazine covers, you work do work in front of and behind the camera, got your own business. Do you have a plan on writing in a book about your journey? You know what? One day. There's going to be two books. There's going to be a cookbook sooner than later because the food content going to pop, y'all. Okay. Mm-hmm. I, I just love it so much. It does really well on social. So there will be a cookbook. But one day I do I do plan on writing a book. Um, Not sure if it's going to come from a memoir place or just like a, here's some tools, you know, for along the journey. But yes, there one day will be. And um, I don't, I'm not sure when. Sometimes you feel like you got to live so much life before you can write a book, but yeah. we know that's not true. It can be a continual thing. You know, I can yeah. do one and then, so, yeah. Thank you for encouraging me to get my pen out here and get this book together. We, we just manifest everything. Yeah. Y'all give me, y'all, y'all don't know how much y'all are blessing me this morning. I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. We appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. Um, Last question. Then we'll okay. get you to drop and get you up out of here. All right. So, All right. So as talented as you are, and, you know, you have all, you know, we all have to retire someday. Mm -hmm. What do you hope to accomplish when it's that time for you to retire? Yeah. So when it's time to sit on down, which I don't really know if I can totally sit down. (laughs) (laughs) I hope that I would have really just built a legacy of, being a total artist. Debbie Allen is someone that I admire so much because she she's the singer, dancer, actor, producer, director. And then you have this Dada Academy, right? And so it, it, it I would envision it being something that's full circle where the things I've accomplished before retirement would have allowed me to ultimately open up this academy, open up this studio where people can be trained 
and that I would be someone that, yeah, Tina Fears, the way I look at Miss Angela and the way I look at people like that, you know, Tina Fears, I saw her, she was doing animations and she was, you know, she played on this series and she did that and she was a doctor here and she spoke this, you know, I, I want people to, to be able to glean from my experiences and just come from an authentic place. So legacy is important to me and I hope it's one that is a positive one and one that's encouraging. So that's what Love I'm praying Love it, love it. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Miss Tina Fears. They, uh, tell us where we can uh, uh, find you at. Yeah, I'm at Tina Fears on all platforms. Facebook, the Instagram, the Twitter, you know, all the things. And then <laughs> TinaFears.com on the web. <laughs> yes, man. Thank you, that we, thank you so much. Thank you, Miss Tina Fears. Many blessings to you and everything that you do. Thanks, y'all. Thanks for having me on. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Let's go, children of all ages. This is Let's go, Chris. Michael's hyping them up. This is the first for me. I, oh wow, this, this is gonna be different. Okay, Chris, go ahead, take take it away. On acting Welcome food, back, to say. Welcome back. <laughs> um, oh, that's why he's hyped. I know, cause you know Mike be hating, but he's <laughs> hyping me up to this. I'm kind of confused. I'm gonna walk on eggshells with this one. We're gonna talk about your boy. Somebody get your boy CeeLo Green. Um, he's received a lot of backlash. I know y'all seen the video. He was riding horseback at the entrance of a birthday party. Um, says the idea was all fun. He meant no ill intent. Uh, pretty much he broke his silence after he was getting dragged for the incident, saying he felt like it could be a fun, funny, grand entrance on this beautiful animal for a very special occasion. Oh, hell no. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know if you all noticed when, when on the video, he, uh, it happened on a Wednesday or whatever. He brought the party, the horse to a party. The animal was looking already nervous. And then there was a lot of lights and party goers jolting around. And then all of a sudden, you know, the horse slipped on the tile on the floor, causing it to buckle and send, and send CeeLo to the ground. <laughs> so Peter came out against CeeLo. <laughs> they said it doesn't take a genius to know that horses don't belong in a noisy, crowded, slippery floor, strobe lighting place where it can agitate them. <laughs> and so Cino responded and said, he, you know, he was just trying to show love to his friend, Charlie Lowe, because that's who they were honoring at the party. And he's always, you know, had a sense of humor. So he was just trying to, you know, be humorous. So he went through all the proper channels to make it all happen. So it was several people re responsible for this incident. <laughs> but he said it was no ill intent and he has nothing against animals and Blah 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 blah. Despite me, you know all that. He said it's just another day in his life. Let me put on my slip and slide. It's funny that I, <laughs> yeah, it was like you're doing a wobble and then all of a sudden you. Yeah. <laughs> he got up quick though from that floor. <laughs> Good thing I mean, he, 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 he definitely don't want that big ass horse to stomp on his little ass. <laughs> Don't have it's, stitches in all the right places. Y'all have seen them to right say right. horses do not belong in loud. <laughs> <laughs> who, who said yes to this? <laughs> it was several people. He went through the proper channels, right? That means proper the channel. club owner, <laughs> the yeah. horse people, the horse. Yeah, yeah. Just everybody was like, yeah, let's go for it. The horse was like, nah, nah, get off. <laughs> this, he like he was uh, bringing a horse from a trail ride into the club. Hmm. Bro, you cannot cool. mix trail ride in the club. This is not. That's not what's going on here. You know, you gotta you pick know. one or the other. Either you at the trail ride, or, or you at the club. That's funny. You know uh, who else didn't get to the club? Why didn't the number four get into the nightclub? Well, I don't know, Chris. Why? Because he is too squared. Yeah, come on. A little multiplication in there. <laughs> If you don't get it, go back to algebra. <laughs> I'm going to have to. I need to call somebody in the Humble ISD district because they have failed me because I did not get that, boy. <laughs> Uncle well, ISD, you are on notice. <laughs> All right, Chris, we got two more. Okay, well, police, you know, police have... Did y'all that? Do y'all need to go back to school just a little bit? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we really do. Yeah. I well, did not. Feel in, all that. <laughs> in all seriousness, um, police did confirm that a man who tragically fell from the roof of the 18th floor nightclub, uh, they did confirm he was not the bouncer. <laughs> <laughs> he was not the oh, bouncer. Oh, no, Chris. 
oh no, Chris. Oh, yeah, they, you yeah, know, because he's a person. He made a brown bag. Go, Chris. Go, Chris. Go, Chris. Go, Chris. <laughs> and then also, you know, apparently there were some architects in the in the uh, nightclub as well. Did you know what they did while they were there? Mm-mm, we don't know, Chris. Tell us. Raise the roof. Come on, man. They were raising yeah. the roof. The architects yeah. raising the roof. No? Yeah. Wait, Chris, I don't know about that one. Okay. I have a problem with your subject. <laughs> <laughs> because not once you mentioned the horse. The whole main topic is... The horse been through enough. Horse. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> about the club and not the horse. Oh, I think my. the horse went through enough. You want a horse joke? <laughs> yes, I want a horse joke, Chris. Give us a <laughs> main topic. What school you went to? <laughs> I, I think it's such a, a hoofy matter. I, I, I don't to, want I no horse joke. Well, okay, all right. The horse, the horse walked in. I was cracked. You what is that for how to cut it out? <laughs> You cut it out. You owe me like five seconds of my life, Chris. The horse walked in and the bartender said, hey, buddy, why the long face? Bam. <laughs> you the long face. Thank you, James. Thank you, James. Thank you. Yeah, there you go. Does that make me crazy? Does that make me crazy? Does that make me crazy? <laughs> he definitely was crazy for bringing yeah, that know. damn horse yeah. up in that club. What is wrong with him? Mm-hmm. And if you see the hotel in Transylvania and you know that he played the mummy, he gonna tell you he got stitches in all the right places. <laughs> I, wonder, I wonder all if right. the, in the horse's mind, because you know his feet not made to be on tile. And the horse, you know, I wonder if it's equivalent to how it is for ladies when they walking in their heels all day and they feet hurt. He's just like, oh no. Oh, no. I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> no, but the way the horse fell, it fell to the side. Yeah, he's like, he's like, oh no, I'm saying, get him off me. Like, yeah. It was like, 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 like oh no. The <laughs> horse didn't know what the hell was going on. The horse was like, look, I don't know where you got me at, but then I, I ain't used to this. <laughs> and he better be glad that horse didn't fall on him. Yeah, he better be. You know what, what scares me about horses and people that really, really, really mess with horses, they tell you, don't stand behind the horse. Mm-hmm. And it was so many people that was behind the horse that had camera phones. I'm like, oh, hey, yeah. y'all, boy. Oh, y'all, y'all, I get scared. Yeah, I, I guess, I'm like, man, I get angst when I see, man, get behind that horse, man. Yes, oh, bro. Yeah. They will kick you. The, yeah. bro. And, okay. All right. Okay. The horse probably already picked. I ain't gonna talk about that. Anyways, but yeah, let's get <laughs> it's it something else that I saw online what they do to horses. And I'm like, the, the horse is probably already mad. Like Chris said, the horse has been already been through enough already. They have. They have. Let, let, let the horse make it. Shout out that to horse that horse was traumatized. <laughs> and shout out to that horse in that loud club, smoke field club with all <laughs> What's it? I'm sick of y'all shit. A bunch of <laughs> with he's he's like, he's like, a balanced ass, ass on top of him. Like, <laughs> crazy. I, no, no. I know some black people personally that got a horse in their backyard. Like, seriously. In their backyard. For real. Big ass horse in the backyard. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we fix a horse out here, so you can't be doing that to the horse. Real pictures. That's not uncommon. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't had no apple for the horse or nothing, Jesse. Nothing. Nothing. You got some patron. Excuse me. some patron. Now you don't want a drunk you know horse. That 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 you want. Y'all know it's gonna be Hennessy. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> The horse just knew he was out his zip code. That's what really got him. Like, I'm out my zip code. <laughs> yeah. Where the hell you got me at? Where the hell you got me? At? <laughs> <laughs> That's why he got up out of here. It's one thirty. It's time to go home. You know what I said the way he hit that lean, it was more like oh, no grass. Yeah, he did hit that lean. That horse did hit that lean. Like, uh-huh. like... Yeah, that horse was ready for CeeLo to get the. He was like, get the, get <laughs> off. Me. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to that. It's like, boy. get off. All right, good people. We're going to talk about some things in the bounce today. Don't go anywhere. Stay right there. Just like that show. All 
right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Balancing Act. This is the segment of the show where we pay homage to others who have passed on and gone away, or we give some uh, certain individuals their flowers. So what we're going to do, we're going to do, well, we're going to talk about a little bit of something right here. So we do still support Black-owned businesses. We do support Black-owned business. We do support Black-owned business. I got to say that three times, so I understand. Four more times. We support Black-owned businesses. So... But that being said, there I know we're hungry. We've been talking about food all day. But let's go ahead and let's talk about this. There is a place out there that is called this so I can get to it real quick. Um, no, not that one, not that one, not that one, not that one. It's called the crew. It's the brunch spot. Hmm. It's the brunch spot down there on well, the crew. Off 311 Travis Street. Man, they got some good food up in there. There's some brunch spot, man. Y'all might want to take a stop by there and check yeah. it out. Man. You been there before, Mike? Yes, sir. I've been there. Um uh, yes. about birthday party. And um, uh, it is a nice, cool, laid back, chill, chill spot. They got it inside and they got it outside. Mm. Yes. You said it was what was the address one more time, Josh? It is 311 Travis Street. Not that far. Yeah, down, yeah, downtown. Yeah. downtown. Right in the middle of downtown. And you better pay for parking because when I walked outside, the dude was putting a boot. Putting a boot. <laughs> don't want a boot. Look at Putting them boots, boy. I said, queen. I said, somebody would be mad. He said, ain't my You know boot. how much it costs to get a boot off of your ass? I'm going to stop playing. No, no, well, real, I, I, I say, oh. <laughs> that hits you for real, man. Just pay up to three dollars for the parking because they're gonna yeah. hit you with a hundred. Yeah, hmm. For real, hmm. for real, for real. And it is film festival time throughout the month. It's been film festival, man. We hit up the film festival as well. Myself, Chris, and Shay, and that'll be Mike, myself, and Chris is going to go out to uh, is it Austin to the film? Was it a film festival? And we're gonna, you know, sit there talk and mingle because you never know who you meet. Might be some celebrities, might be some people that's on the rise, might be some people that we never met before. We all meet some some strange characters. But we're gonna have fun. We're gonna have a great time at the film festival, man. Your boy got caught slacking on one of the film festival, man. I was tired, man. To say got your boy. I was off um no, 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 no. I'm just not gonna let that slide. We got proof. Check it out. When you are finished using it for awards consideration purposes, no later than the end of this awards season on March 4th, 2018. <clears throat> it's past March 4th, 2018, isn't it? Yes. So, you understand this? What should a conscientious member of our blessed union do now? Well, they should click no and destroy the disc immediately. So, you do know right from our Say, man. <laughs> we got you on video. I mean, I was, um, <laughs> it was some crumbs right here, and I was trying to get, I mean, I was looking around, and, you know, it was, it was, uh-uh-uh. Man, I was tired, bro. Look, man, I've been up. <laughs> Y'all got my back. <laughs> it's okay, James. Hey, you at that point got narcolepsy up in this one. Man, look, okay, so I did, okay, in all honesty, though, for real, I didn't get that much sleep. And I got the food, and I was kind of mad. My burger wasn't the on my burger wasn't the way it was. But I was so hungry, and I was like, I wanted something to drink. I needed a little taste. So I said, okay, the beer is the cheapest thing. I had that beer, had that burger. Then I, she gave me slid me a cookie. She said, you want a cookie? I said, yeah. Man, she I slid me a cookie. <laughs> That's that crumble toast. That crumble toast. As soon as you eat, and hey. When that, when that I think the cookie was the like icing on the cake. <laughs> Man, that pretty big cookie. Right. And I had it come with two. And I, I got I got to order two cookies. And I was like, uh, who else could I even offer this cookie to? So it, it dropped us right there. So I said, hey, you want a cookie? He ate that cookie. Man. That he was out. Your neck. When them, when that, man, them lights went low and dim. Mm -hmm. I said, to, I looked up to the sky. I said, Lord, please don't let me. Next thing you know, after I had that cookie, I said, uh, uh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and afterwards, I'm like, I'm, I'm the one that come with the questions. I'm like, yo, bro, what you thought about this one? I thought that one's the best. He's like, huh? Man, <laughs> I don't remember. Dude. I don't fucking really remember that. And it was crazy because it was, it was messed up because I would wake up throughout every one and look at it and I'm like, Oh man, and the guy right next to me, I'll go like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> just try to play it off. So that was his film. 
<laughs> I was like, oh man. They was laughing. I kept trying to get Joff up so like he won't be like, you know, getting talked about or anything like that. Cause you know, I'm gonna look out for my for you know for my brothers and stuff like that. But yeah. yeah. Thank you, th thank you to Shay. But it was it, yeah, man. It did not work. He was yeah, man. Y'all get some sleep, man. Don't go to a movie. That's boy, I yeah. <laughs> I didn't get no sleep that night before, man. And that cool ad hit you, then the food hit you, then the itis, and then the burger. And the... I'm saying, that's to say the way you sleep that cookie to me, that's exactly like that. You, you want a cookie? I said, yeah. And she did like this. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> I was like, no. Oh, it is not. <laughs> so I got to know something about me, okay? That yeah. is my crib tonight. I love chocolate chip cookies, okay? <sighs> It doesn't matter what kind of diet I'm on. If they have a chocolate chip cookie, I'm getting it. Facts. Yes. Facts on top of facts. With your permission. <laughs> <laughs> That's my week. Cookies and cheesecake. That's I know, man. Cookies and cheesecake. That's a wrap for me, man. Look. So, Jeff, is, are yeah. you saying that, like, if I wouldn't have given you the cookie, that you wouldn't have fell asleep? No, it was going to be a wrap. Oh, it was going to be a wrap. It was, was going to be a wrap. It just helped the process. I, really come on, I kept on going like... You just... You just... You, yeah. <laughs> you just, it was going to be a wrap regardless. Okay? It was going to be a wrap regardless. But that cookie, that was the... That, that was, was it. The, Shout mm. out to all the middle-aged men that find in a comfortable spot in their home <laughs> or in public places. <laughs> Ain't hey, nothing wrong with that. Ain't <laughs> hey, nothing wrong with that. I do it every weekend, boy. <laughs> that seat reclined too. I'm saying, boy, after I had that concert, hmm, yeah. A big comfy chair. Well, so, when you go to your film festivals, make sure you get a lot of sleep. Yes. Because they played every every film every like they film. played like thirty films. It was great. It was great, though. We had a great time. It was, it was wonderful. Yeah. But like if yeah. you have any narcolepsy and if you have eaten a whole burger and a cookie we're fine. and had burr, we're going to say burr, right? Y'all know what I'm talking about if y'all from the South. Burr, okay? <laughs> yeah, you're not going to be able to stay up for all of the film that they're going to show. And you're going to fall asleep and let's just hope mm -hmm. that you don't snore. It's all mm -hmm. good. Yeah. Try not to make a fair in the in the film festival circuit for having us out. Yes, we do. We had a great time. The yeah. next book I'm going to write is "If You Give a Joffy a Cookie," <laughs> instead of "If You Give a Mouse a Cookie." Mm. <laughs> oh, clap it in, clap it in, clap it in, clap it in, man. Another day, another show is gone as Chris throws on his scarf, man, and throw on the shades. It's a different type of cool. Why am I saying? Why I keep you know? I'm gonna stop saying. I'm gonna shut up. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we appreciate you. We thank you for tuning into our show. We are that much closer to episode 100, man. Oh my gosh, man, it's been beautiful. Honey bun, Almost honey bun. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yes. Uh -huh. But what's that, Chris? I said yes, a hundred. I'm in my poet mode now. Yes, oh. 100. oh, this is the po okay. The All poem. right. All right. It's the poet, don't you know it? Yeah. It's the poet. Poet. We gonna what are those things called? Those those poppets? Those those pops? We have to get some pops for Chris. And he has different characters they can make money off of. And we gotta get to Shay her own t shirts for memes. As we we gonna make some money off of this stuff. We gotta get we gotta get this stuff going. So some it was somehow some way. Mike, you got any comments before we get up out of here, brother? No, I don't. <laughs> well, I have the positive quote of the day. Oh. <clears throat> I'm on poet mode. It's, it's called "Your Best." Your best. If you <clears throat> if you always try your best, mm -hmm. then you'll never have to wonder about what you could have done if you summoned. Oh, your thunder. And if your best was not as good as you hoped it would be, you still could say I gave today. 
all that I have in me. Peace and blessings. Cause at your best, you are love. <laughs> all right now. I think Ronald Osley said it better, Chris. Okay. You a positive motivator. I love it. I need to go light me some incense now. Burn some sage. <laughs> Since you ever feel the need to hey. wonder why, let me know. Let me know. <laughs> that's the that's the at best that we don't we don't know about Chris. <laughs> Man, yeah. I, I kind of hit that falsetto kind of smooth. I ain't know I can do that. Oh, oh, oh. 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 We all tried the Usher challenge. Oh, yeah. AK challenge. No. Look. We always challenge. Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> Come on now. Oh, let me know. Let me know. Oh, there they run. There you go. All right. All right. There you go. There's it. Oh, then she froze. That means. Oh, she froze. Oh, <laughs> she froze oh, at the back. end. She they tell you gonna get some shirts, man. <laughs> there she goes. She back, y'all. We gotta get, up out of here, man. gotta get up out of here, man. We don't know why it keep freezing. That means it's time for us to go. Y'all have a good one. Am I still froze? No. no. Show's over now. Show over. Okay. <laughs> Bye, y'all. <laughs>